Christian Freeland, the deputy prime minister, doing this tremendous display of gaslighting as though Canadians have forgotten the last six months. She tweeted this, and I'm going to try to get through this with a straight face. I can't make any guarantees, but I'm going to try to do it without laughing. Truckers and trucking companies are essential to our economy. <laughs> Hang on. I can do it. I, can, I don't know. No. Let me go. Let me go back. Let me do this. Truck. <laughs> Truckers and trucking companies are essential to our economy. That's why our government. No, I can't, I can't do it. That's why our government has been working so hard to keep our trucking industry strong. Okay, I made it through. I can't read it again. So you'll just have to read it on the screen there if you want, or if you're listening on audio, just rewind it. That's why they're working to keep the trucking industry strong. So there are a couple of issues I have with this. It is August 8th right now. February 8th was about six months ago, which means we are just a few days away from the six-month anniversary of the federal government invoking the Emergencies Act. And it was Christia Freeland herself, who also sits as Canada's finance minister, who during that announcement got up and said, we are going to freeze your bank account if you have a truck that's involved at the convoy, even if you aren't there. Who said, we're going to suspend your driver's license. We're going to suspend your insurance. We're going to come after you on all fronts. We are going to make it so that you can't pay your mortgage. You can't pay your employees. You can't make your payroll. You can't even continue to work as a trucker for a time because you dare to protest our vaccine mandate. So it makes me wonder when she says that they're trying to keep the trucking industry strong, are they talking about the vaccine mandate for cross-border truckers, which was not necessary, was not rooted in science, was coming to an industry that had been dominated by these people that we held up rightfully so as our essential worker heroes throughout the pandemic? Or is she keeping the trucking industry strong by continuing to keep that punitive vaccine mandate in place? Even as all of the vaccine mandates for air travel, which strikes me as something that happens in a lot more close contact than trucking across the border does have gone away and all of the provincial mandates for things have gone away. And it's not to say that any of those things were justified, but the federal government's science has always been written on the back of a napkin here, if it even exists in that form that is as sophisticated as that sounds. 